you've been on a little bit of a hot streak with being an asshole, Mike. I got to mm-hmm. be honest with I'm you. I'm not <laughs> excited for where this is about to go. I got an email. <laughs> oh, no. I'd love to hear this. From, from an angry mother. Can you pull it up for me? You, you, the, you have it. I got an email from an angry mother. First off, <laughs> I don't know how she found my email. <laughs> Impressive. It's, it's hidden. She found it, and uh, it was regarding the Prime launch in the UK. So we haven't done Impulsive in a while, uh, but we launched Prime in the UK. Fantastic launch. It's doing amazing. Uh, we also just got our variety multi-packs in Sam's Club, and I got an email from a, a mother named Subject Line. The Night Shift video with Mike and KSI. Ginger comment. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. I'm contacting you as I am unhappy with a comment that was made about, my, about a ginger kid, my son, in one of your videos. My son was so excited to see you guys when you came to Watford for the Prime launch. I am appalled that an adult singled out a child, <laughs> zoomed in on him, and made fun of his hair color. Because <laughs> they put the U in the UK. You and favorite. Favorite. My son has had to deal with bullies about his hair color. To have someone that he follows and is a fan of make a remark is very humiliating. The video has obviously gone around to school and kids are laughing at him. This is a form of prejudice and bullying and is uncalled for. I await a response from yourself. Regards, Lisa. So, Lisa, this is the response. I, 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 apo- well, okay, so, 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 one sec, one sec, before we start pointing fingers, right, I, I said to myself, why did I get this email, what have I done, again, did I make a mistake, so I went back and watched the video, I had nothing to do with this, right, like, it's not my fault that my friend's a fucking dickhead, but, but also, he was just pointing out the kid's hair, and they cut to him. It was it was a tight shot. The shot, the shot was tight, and he removed it from the video. I did. I removed it. I clipped it from the video, and yeah. I didn't know that it was such a yeah a massive detriment to your your <laughs> evolution as a human well, to the, have that color. Because I love from a female standpoint, I love redheaded girls. Love My red-headed. girlfriend's hair is red, and I, I she's never ever colored her hair. I, I'm I'm helping you right here. Uh, never colored her hair. She's like, "My hair is a virgin," and I was like, "Listen, no one gives a fuck." She was like bragging about it. I was like, "Color your hair." And she's like, what hair color would you like? And I said, I think it's sexy if it goes red. And every single time now we see like there's a bunch of red, reds in, baby. Be confident with that firecracker head of yours. <laughs> it's like the 4th of July. Just go like this with your hair and have everybody be excited about it. But do you maybe have something you'd like no, to say to him now? We're, we're, we're getting there, Abby. Just, okay. just We're going to massage this. Okay, so I understand. I'm a ginger. I'm, I'm a straw. I have strawberry blonde hair. I dye my hair. Uh, but my beard is red, and I'm a firecracker. And his pubic hair. Is I, like, I know that. That's how I got an impulse. Can I stop you for one second? What you're doing right now is one of those people that's like, I can't be racist. I have black friends. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, you're like, like, yo, you're like, I'm a, I have red hair, small man. I, I, <laughs> the the kid, the kid is 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 gorgeous. And uh, to that kid, I would say, let your uniqueness define yes, you. Yes. Everyone is the same. Everyone looks the exact same. And there's a reason that well, I'm a male, but like most males love redheaded women, as George just said. And, and, and being a redhead, having orange hair, whatever it is, is cool. It's cool to be different, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, that said. I, I'll take over. <sighs> Listen, little man. Little man's mom. I apologize wholeheartedly. I'm sorry because the last thing that I want to do is have a young man who's already dealing with the trials of redheadedness, if, if that's what you call it. I don't want to add on to that. So, so what I'm prepared to do today, this is my offer to, after obviously already cutting from the video, is one, my sincere heartfelt apology. I'm sorry, and I mean that. I really, truly am sorry to you, young man. Uh, we are also, we, uh, at Logan as the founder of Prime Hydration and myself as the number one unpaid promoter of Prime, uh, we are prepared to send you a, a, a metric shit ton of fucking prime to your house in it Watts. Only red flavors, what? though. All right, that's it. <laughs> get them out. Oh! <laughs> out. And then if you get this one, we'll cut it. We'll yeah, cut it. You only get it. George, cut his mic. He's going to be tough. Kids are stupid. They see something different. They make, they make fun of it. They're very simple creatures. Yeah. Oh, that thing is, we're not used to that. And they make fun of it. Kids are silly. That kid's gonna grow up with some thick skin. No, that dude's gonna be he's, the man. Bro, I got bullied man. so hard, the principal moved me out of my school. I'm gonna say this one more time. They go, hey, I don't think it's safe for you to be here anymore. <laughs> they had a game called, they had to leave me out of class 10 minutes prior before the bell because the kids had a game called Who Could Spit on George? 
Yeah, and, and guess what? There was a lot of winners. There was a lot of winners. <laughs> it's okay? like anyone could win that. Yeah, listen, it was a really fun game. No, this is like a hard game. Way, this is all true. I have a video where I performed at the talent show and they were throwing shoes at me. But at that developmental age, building self-esteem can be hard, especially when you have peers around you telling you that you're you're not something. Yeah. Bro, and, listen, and because this, kids this, are kids, this, kids are very impressionable. Bro, this has happened since forever. This is this is a thing. No, yeah, but if we give do you what, know who my biggest bully was though? Mike? Oh, come on. Up. That's not true. <laughs> true uh, you're, you're my little sister. Yeah, wait, That's wait. different. Freshman, That's way freshman, different. Freshman year of high school. What do you, what do, you do? Call, call he you. walked by me in front of hundreds of people and said, Take these drugs. What's going on? <laughs> that too. Um, what's up, flabs? Dude, it was Flabby Abby. Flabby Abby. For the rest of my life. For the flabby rest Abby. of my bro, life. Bro, not even, I don't want to hear your guys' stories. They handed me maracas because I had a mustache <laughs> in the third grade. I had my, they literally, and you know what my teacher said? She says, why don't you just, you know, shave it or nair it? And my mom goes, I don't want him to shave it. She goes, okay, then nair it. She left it on too long. It burned my fucking top lip. And now I look like I had, you know when people do this? For like a long time, this shit's red. For two weeks. <laughs> what if your teacher- It could get up? worse, kid. You could be me. I, I'll tell you what. I jizzed my pants at the freshman dance. Ooh. On purpose. Oh, yeah. it, unintentionally. Just the senior was, was dancing on me. I was unused to this, this, this pressure. Just, gyration. This gyration. I've never experienced it. I'm just a freshman, 14 years old. I haven't hit, hit puberty yet. Smallest one of my friend's group. They call, me, they call me shrimp because I was the last one to hit puberty until senior year in high school. So um, in-, in, in, in the hallways, they would throw tissues at me and underwear and, and things because I had, had jizzed my pants. I had jizzed my pants. I got expelled. Were you still a virgin? Yeah, of course. When Maybe. did you lose your virginity? Um, at 16. Do you want to know, though? 19. This is, 19. This is a little inappropriate. Um, I, I, I learned then that I, I, I'm sensitive down there sometimes. And I was nervous then to hook up with a girl, right, for the first time. Because if I... If I if I got off at this at just a simple school, yeah. what was gonna happen the first time? Like it was some real sh shit was going. Down. <laughs> the first time, the first time I ever got my wiener touched. I'm not kidding. The girl grazed it. Oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> I can't be the only one though. I can't be oh, the only one. Not. These horror stories from adolescence, they exist. They exist. This kid's gonna have a long, fruitful life. This may be a little tough. This sorry, this duration, but it's fine. Well, the one thing I will say is at least your your premature explosion wasn't televised to millions. Of people. <laughs> <laughs> so I do. Yeah, kinda, you can't so show I, his face. No, like but I do. Kinda, do I do kind of understand Miss Miss uh, point of view on it, and so that's why I am saying, and more so, George. You're right. Listen, if you're, there's a lot of piece of shit people out there, bad bullies that will say terrible things to you about your ethnicity, your religion, your race, all those things. Those people do exist. My Fuck them. No, stop. Let me say this. Fuck them. Look, the one thing I will say is never on this show or, or on the Night Shift or on any show would I want to per, per, perpetuate that happening further. And so, you know, I apologize and please enjoy the large amount of prime that we sent here out. Let's send her some money, too. Send him your Let's book send the kids so he some money. get into drugs and stuff. Let's give him a large sum yeah. of money. I hope, I, I hope that he one day goes into the UFC and becomes, becomes a fighter and kicks your ass. Jeff <laughs> said... In the, in the stands going... Nah, that kid looks familiar. I know that kid. Hey, wait, that's Patty Piblet. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like him. Does Patty the Batty have red hair? Nah. Oh, he doesn't? Got a coconut head. Coconut. Who's the cartoon, the Batty with the red hair? Who's that? Kim Possible. Uh, no, no, uh, something rabbit. Dexter. D Jessica Rabbit. Oh, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. She's a bad bitch. Yeah, She's a cartoon. Yeah. How much money are you going to send I, Lisa? Jeff said, I'm girl. What's Jeff, yeah. said no, Jeff said no money. I think they'd appreciate it. No, what about a vlog? Hey, hey, man. A vlog? You want me well, to he, he's not a fan anymore. You know what you should do, Mike? You should show up to his school with red hair. It's in Watsford. What hair, bro? Watford. Look at him. I don't even know where the fuck it is. Yeah.